Welcome guys to reaction and rating with me again, BK. So today's video is from game called Elder Scroll Online. I hear about Elder Scroll a lot since I a little kid, but I'm not playing this game like even once. I'm so this is like a return to Barrowin part 2 this is a ps uh, port for elder scroll i'm quite sure that there is a elder scroll in steam too so without further ado let's see it hey the graphic is quite cool one of the things that comes to mind oh this is real life of course real life Morrowind. The first when I think of Morrowind is the great houses, the great dark, dark off houses, and the often very I kind of complex and delicate political balance between all of them. They are, are very different oh. um, in the way that they appear and their role in that. It's kind of like um, Dragon Age. I really like Dragon Age because Dragon Age uh, <laughs> is kind of like a copycat of uh, Baldur Gate. So this kind of like same type of game with a wide map, like open, open world Society. map. You could walk in one direction in, in Bardenfell and come across a landscape and a people that's very different from the one that you just experienced not 15 minutes ago in another part of yep. the island. When we were, you know, designing some that's of like the a... outfits and the armors for the game, like if I had to summarize it in one word, alien, I think is a really good word to describe that. Okay. A lot of these armors, you know, when you wear them, you look uniquely Morrowind. It's really a look okay. that you wouldn't see anywhere else in Tamriel. You know, we wanted Tamriel. to capture some of those armors that are really familiar to players, capture okay. some of the classic nostalgia, and, you know, bring something that was familiar, but definitely looks kind of alien. alien. The creatures themselves, I think, did a really good job of also selling the world that you are in. You'll be wandering around, enjoying yourself in the environment, and you hear that first sound, and it's like, cliff racers. Okay. Where is it? I also really like the Kwama in this scrub. They're, they're pretty cute for strange buggy creatures. Also, Yikes. in the Morrowind chapter, we had these very cute... That's kind of like... Like crab, uh, not not crab. Like uh, what's called in in the ocean? Uh, shrimp. Like shrimp with uh shrimp and spider being combined. Crazy. Cute little creatures called the Vardbarks, which is a fun play on Vardenfell and Ardbark. They're spiny tongued, scaled little beasts. Oh, that's mix up uh. Three animal. Uh, the head. I forget the name of. That's uh the animal that eating uh ant, in 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 the tree and some some sometime in the. In the. In the soil. The leg I don't know but. That are somehow despite all these. The tail is kind of like. Pocket sized. It's like. Yes. The fact I don't that know. they were a failed Telvani experiment just makes them even more fun. Then you get what they use for transportation quite often, the silt striders. Nice man, this Think I don't know about the most this disgusting game. flea and Yes. True. Just magnify it by about eight million if you run up to it with your character you're like looking way the hell up there they are giant there's plenty of spaces and uh cult so uh, in his back yikes and, and lands in tamriel that are sort of in that more traditional sense uh high fantasy or traditional fantasy or medieval fantasy 
But Morrowind is the game that gives us permission to go crazy every once in a while and show okay. something unusual and alien. And going back to Apocrypha was going to give us that chance to do it again. So that's oh, I don't know about this, man. Are this this is our Elder Scroll always like this? Oh God! Is something we look forward to. Hmm. It's look like uh the main uh main boss in Baldur Gate like you know like uh like in the. Uh, Look like like uh Captain I forget the Captain Barbaros Barbora uh Bar in uh I forget the his name in a uh, Pirate of Caribbean thing I guess with the hey. secret that sort of lies at the heart of every dark elf that drive that makes them reach out for power. That is a thing that's part and parcel of the Telvanni. We're heading into the Telvanni Peninsula. We're also getting to man, this this land full of mushroom. Everywhere, probably there is a pore of mushroom, man. Even in your body. See Apocrypha, which is like this really ultra spooky, creepy area, and I just love that stuff. Finding the visual cues, finding the metaphors and the visuals that can connect the two of them, and yet keep them both distinct and keep them both within their own, you know, lore space is is always fascinating and always fun to do. Necrom. Okay, this is Necrom. Okay, so 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 the the game is Elder Scroll. The Elder Scroll online Necrom. April 18th. Oh, what? Precisely one month uh, from now on. So, I will rate this game. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I, I will rate another game. I'm, for, I'm sorry. So, um, I will. Yeah, here we go. Just, just a thing that this that doesn't happen. So, here we go. The Elder Scroll Necrom. I will rate this just this uh uh video. I will rate this game in B. Okay. So because this game is quite uh kind of like uh expands our imagination like the creature the people the terrain like the uh kind of like um the story behind everything like uh the the experiment the a lot of uh man creature and also some uh kind of like a unique uh Armor. I I don't really uh familiar with Elder Scroll, but I'm quite familiar with uh some this kind of game, the uh, the open world RPG, uh like uh, Baldur Gates or Dragon Age. So it's kind of similar in some ways. So I'm not quite surprised with some uh part, but in some part, I think this game quite cool. What what? What a concept, man. Yikes. So, that's it. I think I will rate this game in B. So, this B is man. So, it's good to play a lot of time. And I'm quite uh, excited for this game. Maybe, I don't know, in the future. I don't know I'm playing it or not. So, thank you so much for everyone watching this video. I'm PK. I will see you again in the next video, okay? Bye.